So let's talk about UVs. I want to um, texture this element in Substance Painter and uh, Substance Painter requires UVs. So, and we know that Cinema is very complicated with UVs, but let's say I don't want to go to any other software, it's here, I just want to do it here. So I do not recommend Cinema for UVs, but if you have to, there are ways. And I heard that they actually work on it, so hopefully it will be better in the future. So let's take this element, uh, let's remove the subdivision, and I'm going to merge the whole thing. So in order to merge it, I'm just with shift selecting the whole list, right click it, and I'm doing connect objects plus delete. Okay, so, and what we can do, we can also switch our layout from model to, come on, let's do it, okay, to BP UV edit. So this is our uh, UV layout. What usually happens, elements like this, they do not have any UVs, and what you notice straight away, could not just straight away, the whole thing is just n not active. In or so in order to activate it, I'm going to create a material, and I'm going to apply it, and as soon as you, as soon as you applied material, you have some kind of UVs because uh, it's been applied on the spherical projection. So from here I'm going to uh, generate UV coordinates and delete the material because I don't need it. Cool. So from here we can see that our tools are now available. What we're going to do, we're going to project this element uh, from the camera, but we also want to cut it. And we want to cut it on the edge on this symmetry edge, floor edge, and then flatten it. In order to do so, we need to select our cut edges first. Uh, there is no really good way to do it in cinema, but that's the way. So I'm selecting every every edge. As I said, it's going to be our cuts. And I think it's looking good. I selected everything. If you want to uh, cut your model in more places, you can uh, select more loops. Just make sure that they're continuous so they actually can cut. And now uh, we switch into a polygon mode. Control A, selecting all the polygons, uh, picking our camera view so it's kind of straight uh, going to projection and say frontal so what you see it just took our projection from the camera and created UVs out of it uh, but we want to flatten our shapes so for that we're going to go to relax UVs I'm going to unpin pin border, border points I'm going to select cut selected edges. This is the tool which allows you to have all the cuts by selected edges. And click apply. So hopefully it cut it. If not, we'll see. But in order to spread those elements around, like theoretically we have two pieces laying on top of each other right now. We're going to optimal mapping, We're going to realign, uh, keeping those the same, click apply. And it didn't happen. So, which has happened, it's fine. Uh, at Cinema, what we can do, we can go to our UF tool, which is which is uh, fill selection. Select this part, go into move tool, switch to this 
uh, element tool not work here and just move it away and now the same deal you just go to again edge selection uf here and uh, move it away again go into our edge selection uf and uh, move it out of the way I know it's tedious, it's cinema, it's, it's UVs in cinema. And um, again, UF, and moving it out of the way. Again, switching to this button. So it's looking good. Let's, um, let's uh, relax it again. So let's select everything and click apply. So it relaxed our uh, our UVs a little better. We can try different methods, but I don't like how it stretched this part. You can add more cuts here if you want, but it's really fine. So I'm coming back to this method, and now I want to those elements to be placed on my canvas properly, and that's where I clicked on optimal mapping and realign. So if you want less spacing between your elements, you can control it by this. You can turn off pre preserve orientation so it can turn it around. I actually don't mind the way it was. I do not recommend turning on stretch to fit. Uh, so this way, if you, if you bring this model into substance, you actually can work with that. I probably would bring it with subdivisions, so we have uh, just better topology to work with. And that's how UV works in cinema for ornament like this.